there, lovelies and gents. This is your girl, Nadia, a.k.a. The Prophet in Process, coming to you. For some of you under the sound of my voice, lovelies or gents, this is just a word of encouragement. Give it another week. I know some of you under the sound of my voice may have been in a situation uh, like I have been, where you've just been kind of wondering about this God or day. Wondering, is this the one or should I look for another? Wondering if you are in sin because when you met this gentleman or this young lady, they were married. They were going through a divorce, so I need to pull back or I need to get out of this equation. But for whatever reason, your heart didn't seem to get the memo. Speaking of which, let me go on and put that disclaimer out there. Eat the meat, spit out the bones. This word may not be for you. This word may be for you at another season, and it may just not apply, period. It may apply to somebody that you know. If it does and you feel like it's beneficial, please pass it along. Let me go back into this word. A soul tie was created. As I've mentioned before, the Lord told me to clean my room a long time time ago which is cleaning my heart and making room for God ordained this is what it's about moving on to the next step of this journey some of you under the sound of my voice had to separate from this individual and that's that was God's will because they didn't need any further influence from you to make the decision that God had told them to make a long time ago because you were meant to come into that person's life as a catalyst and of course God has given me several dreams about that that I will share as he leads me to do some of those dreams that just detail a picture perfect lie about the facade that many people have painted of their lives and they're miserable dying on the inside because they're not with the person that God would prefer them to be with because God does give us free will so we can marry whoever we want to and we sure been doing that however we finding out the hard way you know you're really not happy you know that you're really putting on this facade like i said in my situation dude was still married and i knew that the lord said that he was going to be married when we met and i just misconstrued the lord's instruction i just had seen him in passing that yes maybe he was married and going through the divorce however he would never speak face to face however the time when the lord put it on my heart to approach this gentleman that was the time when i found out that oh Oh, y'all stay together. That ain't gonna work out. The way that I reacted, because I sure didn't respond. I kind of went off. Yeah, I got ignorant real quick after I realized what was really going on or what I thought was really going on. Because honestly, he says it's a good thing. And the first thing that I thought after I saw the ring was, you want a side chick. That is not me. Regardless of the situation that some of you may be facing right now, the soul tie is not a bad thing. So don't beat yourself up about that. By the time this message airs or by the time you hear it, the Lord wants you to know, give it another week. 